How would you like to know 10 work from home hacks for mums? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose and welcome back to my channel and this is my very lazy cat Daisy. Today I thought I'd come up with a list of things that really do make my life easier as I'm building a business from home. I thought you might like these because some of them are apps, some of them are practical things for home with the kids and around your family and other hacks are marketing style things. So I want to give you these 10, did I say 10? I think I've got a bonus that might even be 11. <laughs> so I've got 11 of these actually. Now if you are new here, welcome and make sure you subscribe to my channel. We talk about all things motherhood, marketing and mindset here to help you build your dream business from home. So let's get into the list. The first is actually an app and it's an app that I recommend to heaps of moms and it's Audible. Audible is an audiobook app so that you don't have to read books all the time. P.S. This is actually a pretty good book. If you are trying to build a YouTube channel, I will link it below. But it's pretty rare that I would actually buy the hard copy. Instead, these days, I actually use the Audible app, which means that I listen to audiobooks on my phone or in the car or when I'm walking. I want to give you one other little trick that you can do on Audible, which is really cool. Let me show you what I've been doing with another audiobook that I was reading. I've been listening to Vlog Like a Boss by Amy Landino. I've actually listened to this several times. I love to listen to it over and over again. Obviously, this is something that I'm really into. But I want you to have a look in the little bottom corner. I don't know if you can see that, but it says speed. And instead of it just having read out at normal speed, I like to put the speed to 1.5 times faster than normal. And in the beginning, when you're listening to it fast, it's sort of like, oh, la, 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 and you're like, oh my God, that's sort of fast. But just keep listening to it, right? And you actually get used to the speed of the narration of the author. So I highly recommend doing that because you get through books a whole lot faster. Another great time saving idea is when you're actually doing your work. So obviously I highly recommend you doing videos for your business, but a lot of people feel like they can't be doing videos all the time. So one hack that I recommend is to batch your videos. Then you can actually batch your editing. In fact, I go even before the videos, I actually batch like coming up with my video topics. I'll come up with the keywords and the titles of the videos. I'll even maybe script out some points for the videos. I don't usually script out word for word, but I definitely put things in point form. And then when I'm ready to film, I always film a couple of videos at a time. My next two little hacks are really about the type of marketing that you choose for your business. And I would definitely recommend a searchable style of marketing. And so what I mean by that is you're really going to leverage your time as a parent. You know, when you're doing Instagram or Facebook. Once you put it out there, it's usually gone in 12, 24, or maybe even 48 hours, and no one really ever sees it again. Whereas something when you're doing maybe blogging, which has SEO, which is picked up by Google, or YouTube marketing, actually YouTube I find easier to rank for, people will continue to watch your stuff over and over and over and for years to come. So my strategy here, or my hack here, is to choose an SEO-based or a searchable-based marketing strategy. So my choice is YouTube. It may seem like it takes a little bit more time in the beginning, but it will really leverage your time in the long term. I have videos that I get leads from every single day that I've put those videos out five years ago. Like that's pretty incredible. I don't think people really realize the impact of searchable based marketing. So I definitely would think about choosing one of those as a marketing strategy that you focus on. My other hack is to choose a marketing strategy that you can do around your kids really easily via your mobile. So there's times I'm sitting in the school pickup line in my car, I might have to wait for 10, 15 minutes. There's a block of time to be able to upload things to Facebook, maybe message people, choose something that is easy for you to do around your family and that works in with having kids and being a mom and having heaps to do in your day. Speaking of having heaps to do in your day, <laughs> a lot of people don't choose maybe YouTube because they feel like it does take too long. And I want to reassure you that you can actually use a couple of really cool apps to easily create videos for your YouTube channel. So my two favorite apps, this is my hack, these two cool apps, super, super simple, is the iMovie app. You can 
easily edit your videos. So just do your videos on your phone. Most phones these days have HD quality videos. They are more than enough to put on YouTube to create a great channel. To be honest, it's more about consistency. And I'm gonna give you one other little one, which helps you create really cool videos that are different shape, that are that square style, or maybe that tall rectangle look for Instagram and for Facebook. So that app is called InShot. In fact, I have a class on that, which is how to create square videos, and I'll link that below in the comments as well. Now for my next little hack, I'm going to show you something that I've got back here. Let me show you up close what this does. You put essential oils into this and it creates this aroma that can help you change your mood so that you are either more productive when you work or you can use it to help you calm at night, to help you sleep better or to help you feel a little bit more grounded and balanced if you're feeling a little bit anxious about maybe getting on camera. The reason I use these every single day is because our sense of smell is connected to a part of our brain which affects our emotions. And if you are able to control your emotions to help you be more productive in work or to settle down when you need to calm down at night, then that to me is definitely a really, really cool hack. The specific oil I'm using today is called Motivate. This is super, super nice. It has actually a real pepperminty flavor to it. If I want to be productive doing paperwork or editing or just get stuff done, I definitely use these types of oils. Okay, let me show you a couple of other things that I have in my office, which I think have really, really helped me. So there's sometimes people don't want to do videos because they think, oh, I don't have the right lighting and I don't have all the right, you know, cool stuff. I have to say, look, I just walked over to the window. Um, the sunlight is free and it is the best light. That is my hack. <laughs> Use sunlight, walk towards a window and have the light, the natural light coming towards your face to make a great video. No need for all this fancy stuff. Now I will show you, I do have a pretty cool ring light. You can get one of those if you want to. Please don't let it hold you back that you know, if you don't have fancy camera equipment or lighting or anything like that, that you can't do videos. This is my ring light. Mine has different dials so you can turn the light up and down and yeah. When I'm working with parents who are building a business from home and they're wanting to do videos, sometimes I get the excuse of, I don't have anywhere nice to film my videos. There's nowhere nice in my house or there's nowhere tidy in my house. My house is crazy. I don't have a nice blank wall or I don't have a nice office set up or I don't have an office at all. Like that's totally fine. What you gotta do is make do with what you've got. So a little hack is put up a painting or a canvas or something that hangs behind that gives you a nice clean look for your videos. So this is actually a backdrop. So it's actually canvas, but here's the best thing about having a backdrop. It's that you get to hide all the mess behind. <laughs> so I know what it's like. I used to have stuff in my office and often there'd be like a washing basket or kids have gone and piled stuff up. Like there's drink bottles, there's iPads and they've totally messed up my office as much as I say, do not put stuff in my office. Sometimes it still gets done. So these are really great at hiding the mess. Amazing hack. This is more about being a mum at home and getting ready in the mornings because I know that when I have stressful mornings with my kids that it really kind of shakes me up for the morning and I'm not as ready to like dive into my work if we've had a morning that's been really out of control. Okay, now let's just remember, I am definitely not telling you how to do your job as a mum. Let me just share with you what I have found really, really helpful. Getting things ready the night before. And I'm not talking about me in my business, I'm talking about my kids. We lay all the clothes out for the next day, ready for the morning. We even go as far as choosing what breakfast we want the next morning, but we choose it the night before. I have all the lunches ready as well, so that there is no decisions to make in the morning. Now, there has been a lot of things written up about decision fatigue. And so I help my children in the morning, as well as myself, make less decisions until it's really necessary. When you're making less decisions, you're thinking about less trivial things in your morning, getting ready for your day, you're able to use that brain power for the things that really matter. We've got two more, and number 10 is 
maybe not a hack, like I hope you don't get upset at me, but it's something that I find that I'm definitely coaching a lot of people on, and that is about being yourself on camera. I know that sometimes we can get in that mode where we feel like we have to be super professional, we've got to be like the absolute superstars, but the thing is, people connect with people so i want to make sure that you really bring in your own personality into your videos and your marketing because that will help people feel closer to you i love having my cat in my videos <laughs> she's really not doing anything today at all she's not being entertaining <laughs> I often put my kids in the videos. I love having them intertwined because I'm sharing with you that, yeah, I'm building a business from home, but I'm also a mom. So I guess my advice here is, don't be afraid to be yourself because when I started being myself, that's when I had people feeling like that they could reach out to me, they were closer to me, that they could resonate with me more, making much easier sales because there was, yeah, just that connection. And the last one is, what's the last one? The last one is to outsource things that you don't like doing. Now, depending on your budget, you can actually start really small. I had a beautiful VA from the Philippines who was doing some work for me. You can outsource editing your videos, but you know what I've been doing lately? I've been outsourcing making food. <laughs> it is just not my favorite thing to do. And I think about what are the things that take up most of my time that take me away from either family life, interacting and being present with my kids or building my business. I don't like cooking. You could outsource maybe cleaning, you could outsource your laundry. Start wherever your budget is, but start outsourcing the things that you don't enjoy and that take up your time away from you doing things that could be money making activities. I hope this video has been helpful and you're able to take some of these hacks and implement them into your own family life and home business life. All the things that I've talked about as resources I've linked below in the description underneath this video. I hope you enjoyed and got value out of this video. I appreciate you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and go and click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so. And make sure you click the bell icon so that you will get notified for all new videos. I'll see you in the next one.